Welcome to the tribe must survive. Okay, let me get the transition right here. So this is going to be a roguelike game. From what I hear, it's actually really, really difficult. But for the most part, guys, all right, we're going to have to go in for the settings. So welcome to The Tribe Must Survive. Keep in mind that this is an early development build, and big parts of the game are still in works of progress. Stay tuned to see the game grow as we add new things to it, as well as improve the expand the existing features and systems. In the meantime, enjoy the build and try to survive. All right. Do we jump right in? I hope we get the settings. There it is. Okay. I can't do borderless window. That sucks. That means I'm just going to do it like this. But guys, this is made on Unity. Publisher is going to be Starbreeze Entertainment. This is a strategy survival tribe builder that's also roguelike. And uh, came out yesterday, if you guys are uh, curious. Guys, don't forget to wishlist this on Steam. It's a very difficult game. It's going to be a challenge. Very much a roguelike game. And what we do is we got to lead our tribe to survive. We got to make sure we manage to get through and don't die. So, y'all know what it is. We got to do our things. Yo, man. The borderless window, and I need this. Alright, alright. Wishlist now, guys. Check it out. And of course, sponsored stream, right? Hashtag ad. We got it started. Let's go, let's go. Whatever it is that lurks in the dark, it was about to get us. Everything happened so fast. Many were taken before we could sound the horn. The fire was our only hope. We had stocked up wood and food and everything else. But we had not prepared against the shadows within. When tension turned to carnage, we fled into the night. Aimless we ran, for days, through a blur of darkness and fog, death all around us. When suddenly, the fog lifted, and the light came back. At least for now. Those shadows will return. Prepare. We have to survive. All right. All right, all right. So that was the cutscene. Uh, oh, there's no settings here? All right, we're going to save and quit. I need to modify the, the volume. <laughs> Sorry about that, y'all. Gotta modify the volume. How is all the audio levels? I'm gonna cut this down a little bit. I want to say it was at a decent spot. I don't know if it's gonna be too loud. Jack Bull, welcome in. I see you over there. Exclamation point. The try must survive. If you guys want to check it out. Also, just click on the uh, panel down below, or click on the We Hype link. I was going to take you directly to the Steam page. Yes, set any gloomy, love, crafty, and stone age. The uh, tribe must survive is about finding ways to grow and protect your tribe from what lurks in the shadows. Tribal discord and natural disasters, it's a challenge and take on the survival strategy genre released in early access yesterday, February 22nd. Wishlist now, y'all. The tribe must survive is out now. So go check it out, y'all. Y'all know what it is. How was the audio? Was was the audio earlier with the uh, cinematics? Was it too loud? Anyone in chat with some feedback? I did lower it a little bit just right now, but I'm not sure if that's enough. All right, all right. I want to say it's good then. Let's go. 
Sounded fine to me. Okay. Thank you for that, Raven. Thank you, thank you. All right, welcome. In this tutorial, you will get to know the basics of building your tribe's camp. Every tribe needs a stockpile where stone and wood can be stored. Pick a good spot close to the resources. Build stockpile. Okay. Oh, hexagon grid. Okay. All right, I'm paused. That's probably smart. Can I move people? So, fear level. Okay, you have fear. It goes down, so they're not scared. That base fear. Their food, sleep, social, spiritual. So, I want to say the big dot is uh, getting by, and then they're good for now. Night horn, global fire, building upgrades, spiritual aspects, and philosophies. Okay. Doesn't look like we have direct control like it's StarCraft. Instead, it's more like RimWorld where they have freedom. We kind of just influence it. That's what it feels like. That being said, we'll probably want this here. All right, built the stockpile. Now that the tribe has a building to store resources in, it can start producing. Place a lumber camp. All right. My man's over here is going to build that, okay. Oh, we need three lumber camps. Okay, we'll probably one up uh, up top then. We have one over here. A lot of fog. Survive the first night without losing someone? Dude, this we, we didn't do anything, but it worked. Very Lovecraftian, man, with the vibes. All right, so it looks like I'll probably want another camp here. Because this is a big forest, it looks like. Okay, now we need food storage, granary. Okay, basic stuff. Uh, should be place location that could be reached easily. All right, put it right next to camp. Uh, we'll put it here. Then we need hunter's hall. Okay. We have no wood. I'm assuming that we're just going to get it. Let's see. Produces food. Uh, often have to be hunt far away from the fire. Night horror can be used. Call them back to the light at night. Okay. So I should have this next to this, right? All right. This might be the edge. We'll just put it here. Oh, I have to wait till we have resources to build. So you can't blueprint. That's unfortunate. All right, tents are where the tribe members go to rest. The amount of tents also limits how many members the tribes can have. Oh. Beacon, spirit lodge, tent. Oh man, I'm broke. All right, let's speed this up. Let's get some wood. 22, all right, get the first tent in. Hexagon grids, huh? All right, so food is here. We'll probably want the tents nearby. And then we're waiting for more wood. All right. Oh, it's getting dark. Uh, workers one. Oh, Unassigned tribe members too. Six tribe members are in the dark. All right, so they said Nighthorn. Wait. Uh, what time is it? It's hour 23. Oh, they didn't start the fire, yo. Call the horn, boys. Come back. Where'd you guys go? Yeah, trigger automatically, man. Members within range get less fear safe from shadows. Automation. Okay. Triggers all fire buildings. Okay. Wait. Should I let them sleep? <laughs> maybe, maybe we should have let them sleep.
we're running low on wood. Yeah, it makes sense. It makes sense. Oh, we're burning wood per hour. All right, let's pop that for now. Okay, so it's very much a play on darkness. That makes sense. It's a Lovecraftian theme, right? So it's going to be very gloomy. It's going to be very, uh, I would imagine, creepy, right? Lovecraftian. What's beyond the fog? What's the noise? What's in the shadows? Yeah, they're going to start hunting right now, away from the light source. Oh, does that mean we get we get them to explore for us this way? Oh, what are you fighting? Oh, dude. Aw, oh, snap. This guy's a warrior. All right, let's get a tent. Let's get the second one down here. Two tents. This is the end of tutorial. That's basics. But there is much to learn. Good luck. Okay, so it's just a basic colony survival from what I could tell. Doing your basic stuff. Gather, store, and then you got to have living space. We have about six people per tent, so it's not bad. So let's see. Flood bear. Oh, there's floods. Stone pit. We built a stockpile. Hunter's hall. Tent. Spirit lodge. We're gonna have one. Explorer platform. New areas. Journeys to the outer world. Okay. So, stone pit. And this is stockpile. Oh, you produce stone. Ah, we have to build that on this. Oh, I can't afford it. 80 wood? Dude, that's expensive. All right, these are our tribe members. Their content. Oh, their discontent is low. That's good. Fear is low. That's good. Looks like the green is good value. Cohesion. What is this? Doesn't look like we could interact with this yet. Spiritual schism. Disciple of the beast or is it servants of the shepherd? Uh, cohesion 122. I want to say it's okay then. Sense of unity within the tribe. It drains as the tribe grows. Low cohesion will cause conflicts to emerge between factions. Oh, wow. Is this trying to be like Rimworld where it's a lot of internal kind of like management problems? Stress, tension, conflict, unhappiness overall. It's hour 21. Oh, we have the horn here. I turned this on automatically, man, because we're, we're supposed to be worried, right? This is supposed to turn on automatically. How come that didn't turn on automatically? Do I have to manually turn that on? Is that what it is? It's hour seven, so it's the morning. All right, so we should be fine. Yeah, yeah, it's it's daytime. Interactions, behavior, okay. We don't need to look at that yet. So what are these guys doing? Their fear is high. What is this? Fear increases in darkness reduced by light. Okay. Does that mean they want us to get more fire? We did explore a little bit on the side. Yeah, these are on... So one, two, three, four. That's four people working. Is there an idle counter? Unassigned three. Okay, so we need three people to work. Uh, we have something called the Spirit Lodge. Satisfy their spiritual need. All right, we'll put that on the side. Oh, this is like a recreational building. Spirit Lodge. Shamans. Start a ritual to satisfy the... Oh, they want the fire. We got you. Start a ritual to satisfy a member's spiritual need. If medicine is used, the ritual also generates spiritual progression. 
Okay, spiritual needed. That is this resource. So if I click on you... Fear is low. I don't know what this bar is. This content is fine, though. I don't know if I should actually hit the button. How should we do medicine? Save 100% for the ritual. Okay. Alright, we're just going to speed this up. It's likely we just need to farm more wood, get to the stone, and then we probably want to build some things. The flood barrier makes me worried we're going to hit by the flood. Act 2. Okay. This is the current act arrival. Uh, I'm curious to see if this is going to be something we actually have to uh, progress, or if it's time-based. The camp. No res- we have research points we have to gather. Okay, so what's- building upgrades? We're at tier 1. We don't have- what's the- oh, that's the research points. And then we just keep going down. Okay. So we can't do that yet. Spiritual aspects. Ooh. Disciple of the beast, servants of the church. Oh, that's what we had for the, uh... What's that called? Uh... Not that. There was something like I read. The conflicts? Conviction. Is that conviction? Oh, cohesion. There we go. So we have these. Disciple of the Beast or Servants of the Shepherd. So let's look at this. Sleeping. I can't tell. Which one it is. Some people aren't getting sleep. Some people aren't getting food. Okay, we're going to need more hunting spots then. And then we have three unassigned members. Someone's going to be hunting. We want more food. I'm going to want more lumber. So we'll get another lumber cap here. Let's move it in. We're at 9 out of 12. Should be fine. Alright, so... What is this? Yellow spiritual progress. And then disciples of the beast. Green spiritual progress. Green medicine and yellow medicine. Oh. Oh. Alright, let's run this, boys. What does this do? Fulfill the spiritual need. Oh, we gotta turn off the fire. Alright, we're going to not light the fire tonight. I don't know if that's bad. Oh, they're all asking for it. Uh, I mean, they're asking for it, right? Let's give them the fire. I think he's scared. You could still sleep, I guess. And we're doing the spiritual thing right now. This is not bad. This is not bad. I want to say the night horn might be necessary. Alright, it's five. Turn off the fire. Because it's daytime now. This tribe spiritual need. Minus 0. 0.7. I don't know if this is uh, how we get the points. I'm not actually sure. Alright, still three unassigned members. Uh, once we get more wood, we got stone pit we gotta do. Since we can't control these guys, right? Like, we can't move them manually. I think the hunting, right, is gonna be how they explore. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. This guy has big fear right now. Discontent. This guy's kinda high. Oh, food need. And this is because... Hmm. 
It doesn't seem like it's a problem. All right, we'll just do this. We'll get the wood. Stone pit man, 80 wood. Oh, it's hour 20 though. Yep, I need the fire. So realistically, we don't build the stone pit to tomorrow. We'll still be able to chop wood while the fire is on. Doesn't look like we have a ritual. Let's do another one. Nighttime ritual. Let's go, boys. Oh, everyone's there now. Congregating. Oh, what happened? What happened? A nervous wanderer appears at the edge of the camp asking for shelter in exchange for knowledge. This guy recognizes them from our previous life. He says they are a brilliant spiritualist whose fragile mind also caused him to do some horrible things. When asked for the details, he can't bring himself to describe what happened. A stranger again pleads to be let in, begging for another chance. Ooh. Stability decreases, we gain one person. Brilliant spiritualist whose fragile mind caused him to do horrible things. Oh man, can we trust this guy? Alright, let's see what happens, man. You can hang out with us, man. Alright, pick a new upgrade. Oh, we got this? Oh, nice. So, more groups will ask or open us to experience. We will do music and play. Alright, man. We just got some spiritual upgrades. I'm down with that. Everyone's dancing, boys. Mm. Yo, man. Doing the whoopty walk. You see these guys, man? They know how to get down. Alright, we gotta turn off the fire. It's hour 13. Let's get the stone pit. We have unassigned members three. Wow. It's... Really? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And that's three people. Oh, that works. All right. We need another tent. Oh, we got to wait for the wood. I guess this is potentially a lumber camp right here. Let's get that in. Hour 21. Need the wood. Alright, sleep, fear. The spiritualist is chilling. We could dance at night again, but we don't really need to. We have 30 influence. Doesn't seem bad. Alright, it's daytime. Turn this off. That stone chipping sound right there. Alright, the fire's chill. We have wood. Let's get another tent. Alright, I'm putting this one space gap around the tent. Not because we need it, but because it's like, you know, we gotta have some privacy, man. Sometimes need a little privacy. Down to two. Okay. So we could do another sp spirit launch thing, but I think it's fine. Oh, a lot of fear, dude. Okay, beacon provides light, but it's better than nothing. Oh, nice. Oh, I can't afford it. Yellow medicine farm. Green medicine farm. Okay, now that we have stone, we could start using stuff for that. Buried treasure. One of your stone workers unearthed a mysterious gem. Beneath its shadowy surface, the shines of it's there shines a mix of every color imaginable. Oh wow, we got a prismatic prism. Warping around each other like flames. People are arguing about who should have it. He found it. Uh belongs to the lodge. Oh, okay. He found it, he gets a gem. Tribe member fear, discontent, fear. And chance of shadow death is minus. Increase spiritual aspect progress through rituals 10%. That's not bad. And then we get shard of unity. Oh, we get more cohesion. Ooh. Oh, man. 
So he would benefit or the tribe benefits. Yo, man, the tribe must survive. It's about the tribe, man. I'm sorry. They don't think it be like it is, but it do. And it really do be like that sometimes. All right, so we need more stone. We're hunting the little animals over there. And it looks like we need more flames. Oh, they're hungry. Okay, we need more hunting. We have one unassigned. Ah, uh, we have no food. Okay, we're gonna have to get a lot of food. Uh, we're gonna get another hunter's hall. So hunt, hunt, so we'll put one down here. We wanna spread out where the hunters are. We have no food. We need to make sure we get some food tomorrow. And we have no members. We do have six spots. But yeah, I am not meeting the needs of everyone. Wait, he wants fire? Is that what it is? What's the tooltip? He wants a piece of wood. Chopping a tree. No, I think he wants to chop a tree and he can't. Alright. Let's go, let's go. We have wood now. A little bit of stone. So, advanced buildings. Tinkery, Act 2. Crop farm. Ooh. I wonder if this requires seeds. Crop field. Ooh. So this is only wood. Okay, that's good. Outpost fire. Protects tribe members and outposts from darkness and reduces their fear. Okay. Must be placed in outer world. One member's in shock. Removed by light. Aw, snap. Our right, man, let there be light. You got this, man. We gave you fire. That's not the business. Uh, let's do a crop field. Oh, it's a circle design. I see. Let's do that. And then we do the crop field. I feel like this is something we have to do. All right, we'll just do that for now. All right, so we just gotta let them do their thing. We have food, a little bit of wood. Some people are in shock. Fear is going down. Changes minus 1.3 per hour, so I guess they're hanging out. All right, so let's close that. Look at the tribe. How do I see spiritual need? That's what I'm not sure of. All right, let's do another spirit dance. Got to generate the research points. Oh, we only have three people dancing. Feels bad. This guy is still going down. It's not as shocked as it could be. But yeah, we don't have wood for this to maintain the fire all day. But he needs it. He's fine now, right? Turn off the fire. Oh, and it's still on. Okay, we gotta keep the fire on. Alright, so there was the beacon. Uh, I'm gonna put this here. Oh, it uses fire too. And then let's get another beacon then. Beacon by the Lodge. Alright, so we have light for the people. Alright, the guy's no longer in shock. Let's turn off the fire. Oh, no! Wait, we had food! No, he died because we didn't have food. But we had food? What do you mean? Alright, turn on the fire. So wood is actually very important in this game. Otherwise, you're going to have fear, huh? Okay. 
So let's go to the spiritual aspects. This is, is ooh, and we have influence at 40, okay. Um, we could dance again, I guess. Dude, the guy's starved, dude. We gotta, we gotta dance so that, you know, he'll be happy. Chose the wrong one. All right, so we don't have green medicine, so it should be fine. Turn this off. Oh, we have crops. Nice. So no unassigned members. Okay. Let them rock them. Fires off. No one is fearing. So I think we're okay. We're running low on wood. We're gonna need lumber camps. I thought we were going to maintain that. Three lumber camps to one hunting lodge. We have like four hunting lodges. Okay, we have one unassigned members. That's going to be wood that we're going to need. Are there no crops? No, we have crops. You just can't see it in the, the darkness right now. A little bit of fear and it's day or it's hour five so our crops are right here that's empty she's harvesting getting some food all right everyone's working that's all that matters all right so What's the next thing we want to build? Outpost fire that's outside. All right, we want to build the medicine farm. Oh, we, we put this anywhere. Cannot be placed here. Wait, what? Where do you have to place this? Can be produced out of toads? Can be made out of mushrooms? Wait, hold up. What does that even mean? Toads? Does that mean I have to find a farm? Oh, I just realized I could interact and click on the ground. Toads? I have to find toads? What is this? I can't click on that. Oh, and it disappears. I'm not actually sure. All right, so let's ignore that farm. Trade post. Outer world unlocked. I don't have that. Furnace. Burns wood. The smelt copper from raw ore. Okay. Ore mines. This is outer world. Wait, so am I not in the outer world yet? How do I get to the outer world? Our explorer's platform. Oh, that's what I need. Okay. So we'll put that next to the lodge. And then we have no unassigned workers. Start a new journey. No empty slots yet. Oh, I forgot to turn this on. There we go. An eclipse will hit us in five days. Oh, no. Okay, we need to stockpile the wood then. Yeah, we're not building anymore. We got to stockpile the wood. All right. Once we get a unassigned worker. Once we get the 16, we're going to want the explorer to be doing this thing. I guess we could argue that since we have the crop field, we could bop one of the hunters. Oh, oh. Is that guy getting chased? Oh, no, he's carrying he's carrying food back. I thought he was getting attacked by the swarm, dude. Dude, there's like 20 of them. Area around the camp has been explored. Oh, that's him. 
no one's working. Oh, we have one worker. Nice. Start a new journey. Okay. What is this? Fear is going up. Okay. Ooh. Oh. Okay. We don't want to do that because the eclipse that's coming in. We're going to want to wait for the eclipse to pass before we actually do exploration. It's going to cost a wood. Oh, I had everything running. Or was that automatic? If it was automatic, that's nice. We could dance all day. Eclipse in four days. We got you. 63 influence. Looks like it's good. We don't have anything yet in terms of the spiritual aspects. Okay, we didn't look at philosophies yet. Looks like this is something they lean into. Greetings, welcome in Kill Bill. I see you over there. How are you? Hello, hello. We are checking out a new game today called The Tribe Must Survive! Exclamation point, The Tribe Must Survive in chat. See the command to link to the Steam page. And this is a uh, roguelike, very influenced by Lovecraftian themes where uh, we have to survive, man, as best as we can. I got another exploration then. It's not bad. Um, how much does this hold? It doesn't say if there's a, a maximum stockpile size. Oh, stops flooding from happening and acts as a walkway. Interesting. All right, we can't build that. We don't have outer world yet. And we don't have toads yet, okay. Dude, I do wanna explore this. I wanna wait for the eclipse though. I'm a little bit worried about that. Fires on, let's go. This Factorial mod, this is not Factorial. <laughs> I see you over there, Raven North, welcome in, welcome in. Hello, hello. All right, oh, this is what's gonna happen. I see, this is the days. I get it now. No, 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 no. That's not one was just coming in. They were just coming in, saying that. <laughs> Wait. Oh, no, I turned off the fire. That's correct. This guy's exploring? Man, I want to send him on a journey, but because of the eclipse, I think that means the fire is going to be on all day. I I'm not sure how much that's going to take for me, so I'm just going to want to wait that out. I haven't found any toads yet. I need to find some toads. The one thing we could also do is just do the crop fields right here. This is kind of expensive, but I think it's fine. And then we can't build anymore. Yeah, it wasn't anything, it wasn't anything. Oh, I hit the wrong button. I had the beacons on still. Oh, we're at 17 though. Ooh. The farmer discovered that one of his plants in the field seems to yield exceptionally large and sweet corn cobs, much bigger than the ones of the other plants. Uh, give them out as food. We have mouths to feed. Use them as seeds. They'll improve our next harvest. Uh, we'll do the filling crops in 10 days. Gotta think about the future. No, wait, what? That was... Oh, man, my bad. My bad, Raven. I didn't mean to be like that. I didn't know I was... I was being, uh... Unkind. I apologize. Eclipse is coming in soon. And then we have the worker. We're waiting. Another camp exploration. Okay. Oh, there's wood here. We could chop. 
I need to find something called toads. I would imagine that's going to be like a pond or something. So we're looking for water. Alright, so we're going to need more people. Let's get another tent. Alright, we will move this on this side. One tribe member in the dark. Are we horned? Who's the tri- is it this guy? You can't be sleeping in there, right? Oh, I see what you mean. I thought you were talking about me, man. Oh wait, why are you out there, dude? Why are you being weird? Oh man, why is he being weird? All oh, his eyes are red, dude. Oh snap. This is not good. Can we save him? Oh, delirious. Oh no, dude. Um, can we save this guy? Yeah, he's literally just being weird. So the thing is that this game is based off of uh, Lovecraftian themes. If you guys know anything about the Lovecraftian themes, uh, that's literally... Oh, he's shocked now. Okay. That's literally the thing that they kind of feast on, so to speak. They introduce something called madness and they cause people to go crazy right that's the lovecraftian lore so because of that we're they're trying to play on that i, I want to say for this uh game so a lot of darkness is bad you want to be in the light and then we just try to do the best we can the eclipse is coming though you have one lazy cat mate yo man so if you don't know why, when I'm asleep, my kitty cat watches over me so that I could sleep peacefully. And then when I wake up, and then he's with me, when I start streaming, he understands that I'm watching over for him. So then he sleeps when I'm streaming. <laughs> It'd be like that sometimes, man. Mamba thinks we just take turns watching over each other so that we could sleep peacefully. That's that's literally what he thinks. So at nighttime, what happens is, is that uh, he will literally just uh, chill at the windowsill. He'll be on the bed. He'll be just watching over, make sure everything's fine. He might doze off every now and then, though. That is a thing that does happen. <laughs> Mom will just be like, yeah, man, I'm, I'm going to do a quick nap. Oh. And the eclipse is here. The sun has disappeared and a strange mist is building up around us. The light of the fire protects us, but there is something in the dark waiting for our flame to shrink. All right, we got to stay close to the fire. All right, no one's in the darkness, right? Oh, don't wander, dude. Dude, he's wandering. No, dude. Not like this. Dude, where is he going? Where is he going? Really like that cam? Yo, man. If you're lucky, Mamba will yawn. And you'll get to see him uh, bare his fangs. Oh, you guys see that light? What are you doing over there, man? What are you doing over there? We uh, we call that a familiar. See, this is uh, when my vampire coven would come and say hi. Yo, man. We got the fire, though. Dude. What is this? Like, I can't save this guy. Like, I don't know how I would save him. All right, let's start dancing, boys. We'll save him by dancing. Oh, he's coming to dance. Oh, he's coming to dance. No, he gave up coming to dance. Oh, no. He's here. He's here. 
He's shocked. Okay, the fear is going down. Yeah, he's chilling, man. He's chilling. We're doing the uh, the Harlem Shuffle. Y'all know what it is. One of our guys is uh, going crazy. Start a eclipse ritual. All right, we did it, boys. I guess we could do another one. No one has spiritual need though, right? Everyone's happy. We don't have the second tier yet. Uh, tribe tolerance is okay. Stability is not that great. We have filling crops coming in soon. Charter Unity, Nighthorn. The eclipse that was bopping me. Alright, good news is, is that this guy's fear is going down. No! Is, is he gonna wander again? No, dude, don't wander, dude. What are you doing? Everyone here is, is scared. Oh, you could increase the, the fire size. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, that's actually kind of nice then. Oh, dude, everyone's starting to wander. Guys, let me get another ritual, man. Come on, man. We're gonna put out the eclipse this way. Let's go, let's go. I wanna say we're fine. Eclipse is gonna be over soon. Dude, all our all our woods down, man. Alright, this guy's shocked again. Yep, it's a guy down 100. Looks like increasing the fire didn't really do much, so we're just gonna lower it back down instead of burning the wood. How much more time? Okay, so it's the end of 18, the eclipse is gonna go away. Alright, alright. Five? Are we not safe? Nope. Dude, how long is this? How long is this eclipse, dude? Three days? Dude, we're out of wood. Oh, no way. We actually didn't have enough wood. Oh, no, dude. What does that mean? I can't see any of this. All oh, the UI. Oh, they got grabbed in the darkness. Wait, what? I can't see this. Dude, I saw one of my guys get, get grabbed. Aw, oh, snap. I need to run. Stopped in to say hi. Teaching a class in half hour -ish. Gotcha, gotcha, Raven. Take care of business, man. Oh, oh, oh my god. We lost a second guy. We, we were at 20 people. Dude, I have no fire. Oh, two more people getting grabbed. Yo, man. Oh, another one. That guy was in shock. Oh, dude. Dude, how long is this going to last? Oh, my God. A hunter is missing. We got to calm him down. It's okay, fam. Dude, that's half the tribe? We just lost half the tribe? Oh my god, more than half, 60%. 60%. Oh, dude. Dude, 75% of the tribe's gone. Wait, there's only four fires? 
dude, this eclipse? How long is this eclipse? Two, three people. Turn on the fire. So, so this is a roguelike game, so it's supposed to be hard. The eclipse has passed. Oh my god. We see the moon finally pierce through the darkness as the mist around us disappears. The long night has ended, but the horrors are still out there. We must prepare for what's ahead. Wow. And then that's act one. Wow. Dude, we just started over. We started with three people. We grew it up to 20 people, and now we're back down to three people. Dude. Even though we survived, we soon realized that what got us here won't get us any further. Struggling to satisfy even our most basic needs wasn't going to be enough. Survival is a race between progress and disaster. We had to stay ahead. Alright, we get perks. Social need interval increased. Spiritual progression. Building crops. Cost. Doubtfulness. And then we get the Tinkerer. Okay. Alright, the thing that I'm worried about is... It says we have three people. But there's only two people. Oh! Yo, what the heck? It's still happening. Who's, who's my tribe? Who are you? Your name is uh, Yo Roro. Oh, he's he's. Oh, they're on top of each other. We can't work for three hours. Oh my god, we might actually just lose right now. And it's daytime. Have your entire tribe fall into shock? Oh, no. When you're in shock, you can't work. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. All right, so... The other... Okay, so this guy... Hunter's Hall, no. Let's not have this. You're doing lumber camp. That's what we need. You chop some wood, man. We gotta, we gotta restart the colony, man. We need to chop some wood. Wait, 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 wait. Are, are they perma stuck? The, the fear is positive right now. And they're in the light. Oh, and it's going to be darkness again. And then they won't have wood in order to start a new fire. Oh, dude, I think we're, we're done. We're done, boys. We're dead. We might actually just have to start over. Yep, it's nighttime. Oh, wow. Oh, I didn't know you could... Z I didn't know you could zoom out like this. Wow. Okay. Yeah, TJ, new game. I think we just lost. I think we just lost. We're going to get snatched up by the Lovecraftian gods. They're going to are they going to grab anyone? Oh, we just lost one, boys. We're down to our last tribal member. Yeah, he's done. There's no way he breaks the shock. That's it, man. 
we go. Panic. Nothing could stop it now. And this guy's running away. Yo, we lost. Just like that, boys, we lost. All right, we got to try again. We got to try again. We got to try again. Oh, this is the new game plus. So when you lose, the roguelike uh, carries over. Okay, so we get one of three things. This is uh, Cthulhu, all you in the chat, man. Can you translate this for us? Perspective through terror. Tribe starts with perspective through terror. Lots to a flame. Oh, tribe growth for each fire radius. Tribe starts with two more members. I'm going to go mods to a flame. I feel like that's probably going to be better. All right, pause. All right, we're going to do our thing. Okay, so stockpile we'll have on the side. And then we got to build a lumber camp. All right. And then we got to build the granary. I'm doing this while paused because we can. I need to maximize in the beginning, right? We'll have the food right next to us. Right? At the fire. And then we got to build the hunter hall. Uh, all right. So this is going to be by the granary. We'll put it here, actually. Oh, not enough resources. Okay, now we wait. So it's nighttime. We can't do too much. Cancel. We gotta wait till it's daytime. Gotta be close to the fire. Get some wood. Nice. Alright. Turn off the fire. It's daytime. Let's get the hunter's hall. Unassigned workers, too. Someone's gonna be hunting now. Now we're gonna need to place a tent. Uh. Tent around the fire, right? That's got to be the play. All right, we got to wait till we get 20 wood. Each tent is for six people, so... Nice. We're going to need more... I should probably build more lumber camps, because I remember we needed a lot of wood. And everyone should be assigned now. We're hunting. We need to get a second tent. All right, right around the fire. All right, that's a tutorial. Nice. Stones right here. We're going to need a stable wood for that. And then I need to try to survive the eclipse. Um, getting the stone is nice. This probably means there's a lot of things I didn't need to make. Uh, maybe the crop field was nice, but we needed to not build as many. Oh, oh no, I missed it. Oh, it's not automatic. Oh, man. I lost someone already. That was not wise. No, I forgot to turn on the uh, night horn. It's not a good start. Not a good start. We got to save up money for the spirit launch as well. All right. It's daytime. One, two, three, four, five, six. I probably need more hunting lodges. Yeah, empty slot. We're gonna need the wood as much as we can. That was uh, that was the reason why we lost last time. Uglar Visk, I see you over there. We got grabbed in the darkness, man. It wasn't good. Alright. I wish the fire was automatic. This one right here. We never got research points yet. That's going to be something I'm going to be curious about. Alright, we got seven people. That's going to be the extra hunter right there. 
And then the first thing we're going to build is a spirit launch. Alright, so we're going to look at individuals, spiritual need, people want sleep, and food. Okay. We have sleep, though. Oh, nice! Chunky peanut butter with Granny Smith apple. Good. That's a great combo, man. That's a great combo. Dude, you know what was one thing as a child that I had that, like, changed it for me? Having a caramel apple for the first time made me love apples. I would say that before that, we had the Red Delicious. And they weren't delicious back in the day. They were, like, soft and mushy. While it was sweet, I never liked red delicious apples. But once I had once I had a caramel apple man, I was like, yo man, apples are the business. <laughs> but before that, I was like, yeah, maybe not. You know, apples are alright. Be only that sometimes. Alright, it's about to be oh, I have the fire on still. Wait till it's hour twenty one. Wait for the horn. Hit the buttons. Uh, right, need the wood. We don't have unassigned members yet, so that's fine. What's the opal? I don't know what that is. I've never heard of that, man, as an apple. Is it sweet? Is it sour? Is it firm? Is it soft? What region is that from? All right, I could probably afford the stone pit. All right, we never got that. All right, stone pit time. If we get workers, they go there. It's delicious. It is everything. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, man. I like the honey crisp apples. The very, like, cr uh, crispy is, like, the wrong word. But it's like, you know how you could bite into it and it like snaps off? I like that. I like that when the apples are like that. I'm not sure. It's only available for like three weeks in winter and then they're gone all year. Oh, that's tough. That's tough, man. All right, now that we have stone, we potentially get beacons. Never heard of these kinds. Only have the Granny Smith apples. Yeah, right? When you start diving into apples and taste like the different types of it, dude, apples are great. <laughs> apples are great. Alright, we need the second stone miner still, so we're chilling. I wouldn't mind building an extra tent. Just so that, you know, everyone is uh, chilling. It looks like we want to build around the campfire is probably what we want to do just due to the fact that uh campfire is life right now all right we're gonna destroy this build a new lumber camp on the side instead all right let's go have the fire on we got the second stone miner good stuff you sprinkle salt on Granny Smith apples? I have been told I am odd for doing it. Uh, TJ, that is something very common over in my part of the world. But we don't use salt. We use something called uh, chili powder that has salt mixed in. So they have this thing called chili powder. And it's... Uh, Basically, it's a powder, right? Like salt, it's very granular like that. And what you do is uh, you just slice up the apples and then you dip them in and it, you know, sticks to the side. It's salty and sour. It's uh, not really super spicy. It's chili powder, but it's not emphasis on the spice. So it's a sweet, sour, spicy flavor on top of the apple. And I used to do that a lot. <laughs> Growing up, man, I used to do that, man. 
That sounds good. I've never heard of the product. Um, it's called, it's, it's, I don't know if it's still being made anymore. It was only something I saw as a kid. As I grown up, I haven't seen it in the stores anymore. But it's kind of like, um, have you ever got margarita mix? Not margarita mix. Um, you know how sometimes you get one of those margarita mix cups? They'll have like on the side of the glass a spicy, sour, salty powder to line the rim of the glass. That's kind of what it tastes like. That might be the closest thing, actually. If you've ever uh, had a margarita like that. It's also a Mexican thing. It's a Mexican candy, uh, so to speak. But it's called. it used to be called Lucas, like the uh, proper name. Oh, I forgot to turn off the fire. Oof. All right, we have one extra person. I think the food's starting to go down. Let's get another hunting hall. I might want to stop this guy from chopping the trees. So we chop at the bottom instead. Ah, the red bar right here is the nighttime where the fire needs to be on. I wish I could automate that. Uh, reduce fear to remove it. Fear is automated. Reduced by light. One guy's in shock. Is that you? Why are you in shock, dude? What do you do? You're a hunter. Oh, we might need a beacon for you. Alright, man. We got a beacon for you, buddy. Uh, let's pop this guy. Let's move the camp to down here. They're a little bit too far going up top, man. I've never heard of the product. Must love the apples. I don't think it's the uh, like an area thing, regional thing, Pero. Peroas. It's it's more so I just, you know, growing up, my childhood, dude. That was just kind of like what we got, man. <laughs> that was just like what we got as a child. All right, I might make the crop field soon. Do that at the bottom, actually, right here. I wouldn't be mad about that. Uh, this would be nice. Alright, we got three crops. Oh, I forgot to turn off the fire. Our beacon. These two are our fire sources. I don't know if I need a beacon on this side for the uh, stone cutter. We'll put it right next to the crops, though, if we would. Or maybe even on this side, a little bit further from the main camp. Alright. Let's do a dance while we can. I don't know which color they're going to lean into on this playthrough. Servants of the Shepherd, Disciples of the Beast. One unassigned members. One, two, three, four, five. I don't know if... Oh! Oh, it's this guy again. Uh... Sure, we'll have this guy join us, it's fine. Oh, we can make a decision between two aspects. Oh, I don't have children of the mother, so we just gotta do this one. Alright! Oh, this is not the same! Tolerance cannot become negative. <laughs> Green medicine to increase openness to experience when consuming medicine. The increase conscientiousness. Wait, what? Conscientiousness. I think I'm saying that correctly, but what the heck is that? I haven't gotten medicine yet. We're just going to take the tolerance. I don't know how you get medicine, so <laughs> we're going to chill out with that. Uh, looking at this, let's get to Explorer's platform. Let's put it right here. And then we should be chilling. Still one unassigned. We should be okay. We might need food though. Let's do another Hunter's Hall right here. That way everyone's assigned. Alright, I don't want to do this, but maybe we can.
Oh, I forgot to turn off the fire. Oof. Alright, are you guys in darkness? I want to say you guys are not. Spiritual need is a little low. Let's do another dance. Yeah, I might need a beacon here. And it's daytime. Are you okay, man? No disgust. Nice. Looks like everyone's okay. This guy needs sleep. Going to bed. Oh. The ritual caused them to lose sleep. That's kind of funny. We have one unassigned members. That might be more wood. Every around the camp has been explored. Oh, he was exploring. 18. All right, they might want another tent soon. And now that we got that tent, I think this beacon is very justified. Let's turn it off and we'll turn it on for the nighttime. Now we just need to accumulate the lumber. All right. We got to make it past the first eclipse, boys. That's going to be the goal. Survive the first eclipse. No one is fearing anymore. I think we're having a decent balance on the game. Or grasp of the game. All right. Daytime. Alright, so the spiritualness is probably still needed. One unassigned members. Uh, I wish we could upgrade the wood lumber camps. But I think we need to just chop the wood here. I need wood, man. I, I need to get as much as we can. Alright, another day goes by. Alright. Sleep. Spiritual is down. Some people have okay spiritual. Some people don't. I don't think they're scared. There's no speech bubbles. Sitting at the fire. I want to say everyone's cool. Yellow medicine. I don't have any mushrooms that I found yet. Oh, wood. That's not bad. And then we're at one unassigned. Okay. Alright, we don't know when it's coming, but we're going to increase the crop field. One unassigned. Alright. Chop the wood then, man. We got this. Well, we explored this. Oh, we might want to chop wood here now. Or next. We're going to keep chopping this, though. We got to create space around the fire. All right, they're exploring on that side. Oh, I forgot to turn off the fire. So we've been losing wood. Oof. All right, we need to be careful with this. Eclipse in five days. There it is, boys. There it is. Right, we're going to make it past the eclipse this time. One guy's in the dark. Ha, I, I want to know who it is. The 
the sky. Weird gleam. Aw, oh, man. Alright, no one's in the dark, right? Oh, it's because it's daytime. Oh, wait. Yeah, turn that off. Let's do a ritual at the beginning of the day. Hopefully everyone had sleep. Oh, here it is. This guy's being weird. His fear is low. He needs a lot of sleep. And for whatever reason, he doesn't want to sleep. Finally sleep. Nice. Hopefully he stops being weird. Food is good. We need more wood. Hunting on the side. Part of me wants to explore, man. Because we didn't get to explore last time. Part of me also was worried about the wood situation. Sinister Thirst. One of our woodcutters drops their axe in stunted silence. The split up the bark of the tree has revealed a shape that looks like an eye. Underneath the shape, the trunk is smeared with dry blood. Everyone seems uncomfortable with the eye's stare, but disagree on what should be done. Some wish to give the tree what it wants, while others want to chop it down. Whoa. Sacrifice blood to the forests. Tree growth workers receive. Or chop it into firewood. Uh, 10 days of corrupted fire. Oh, that's so bad. Because I have the eclipse coming. Oh, dude. Dude, that's horrible. The 10 days? I have five days for the eclipse. All right, we're going to sacrifice some blood, man. All right, one member in shock. Fear is going down. That's fine. This guy's acting weird still. We have food, dude. What do you mean? Oh, dude, he's acting weird again. And it's daytime. Oh, wait. We have people in shock. All right, let me keep this fire on. Alright, it's daytime and they're by the fire. That should be good enough. We do have influence points to spend once it matters. Oh, I was not seeing interactions. Ah, there we go. Oh, there's a light overlay. I did not know that. The eclipse is coming though. So we kept the main fire on for these guys. Alright, off and on, everything. Okay, it's still going down. Oh, it's bad again. Three days for the eclipse. 250 wood. We might want to sacrifice the weird guy right there. Oh, he keeps walking away, dude. What are you doing? Why are you being weird, man? All right, no one's in shock anymore. He has zero fear. Okay, that's great. It's actually really good. Oh, was that a pond? No. I thought I saw a toad or something. I, I kind of want that green medicine. Oh, one guy's in shock. All right, turn on the fire a little bit. Dude, I want to get the 500 wood. Two members not working. Uh, let's see. Let's get another hunter's hall. And then let's get another lumber camp. There we go. Everything's on again. It's going down. This guy's close to the fire. Two days for the eclipse. One guy still in shock. And we have four beds for the people. Okay, okay. 278. 
I have to keep this on though for this guy. Alright, he's no longer in shock, hopefully. Looks like we'll be fine. I just need to make sure to turn off the fire once he's not in shock anymore. Goes back to work. Even if it's only for an hour, dude. Come on. There we go. Three hours. Let's get some food, get some sleep. Nice. Okay. A little bit of fear, but it's fine. 360. We're doing all right. Uh, so it looks like we could spend one person doing other jobs now. Haven't found ore yet. Okay, so the tinkery was something we unlocked. We haven't had floods yet either. All right, everything seems fine. Let's do a spiritual thing in the morning. We got to fulfill the spiritual need, man. Nice. One hour cooldown. Went down to 64. Oof. It's probably because of the uh, ritual that we did. And it's nighttime. Filling crops. Uh, we have food. That shouldn't be a big deal. We'll do filling crops again. A little bit of fear. The eclipse. Is it here? The eclipse is here. Okay. Let's do a ritual. Come on, y'all, it's time. Some people are in shock. But we're gonna do the ritual, man, it's fine. Nine people off the get-go, this is not good. Reduce fear to remove it. Nine people in shock. Uh, maybe increasing the radius is the downside. So this is... It is going down. Alright, let's do another Eclipse Ritual. Just to reduce fear. Everyone's scared right now. Alright, alright. Two people instead of nine, that helps. Spiritual need is a little bit low, but I think this was helping. Midnight, the fire is on. I could do another one of these. How bad is this? Oh, he's fine. This guy is kind of bad. I see one more. I mean, we could afford it, right? So, we got the influence points. Oh, we have more people in shock right now. Oh, they're still in shock. The only saving grace is that they are going down. Which means hopefully, eventually, they'll be alright. We're already down to 250. We don't have enough influence points to do another dance. Back up to 9. I guess we could do the regular spiritual thing. At least it's going to be over soon. Oh man, people are starting to be weird. 
two members in the dark. Those are the weird guys. Nine members in shy. That's 11 now. We're maxed out. I shouldn't spend any wood. All right. They're going to go to sleep. Ten people. Oh, one of the guys came back then. The eclipse is almost over. And I think we we survived. I want to say we survived. It's going pretty good. It's going pretty good. Let's go back down 1x speed. I'm going to check something real quick, guys. I have to click out. We did it. We survived. Yes. We didn't lose anybody. All right. Act two, boys. Good stuff. People are in shock still. It's nighttime. Destroy this. Let's get a new tent. All right. We could grow more people now. Uh, we will wait till it's daytime. Some people are still in shock. And we have to turn off the fire now. Yes! We'll turn this back on for the guy in shock, though. And then now, extra lumber cap on this side. Mama just sneezed. <laughs> I see you, babies. All right, good stuff. Um, I want to send the guy on a mission now. No one's in shock. People are having a little bit of fear, but I think it's because they're idle. Okay. So everything's good. Food is fine. Wood's a little bit low. I probably want to start chopping this wood right here. All right, and let's go on a mission. Uh, journey. Give them two days of wood, three days of food, and one day of stone. Oh, that's all you go to carry, dude? You could carry one stone. All right, just do three and three. We're going to go northwest. And then... This should be fine. Uh, oh, we have to add a... All right, you have no fear. It's going to be you, buddy. New journey started. Explorers on the way. Nice. All right, so the journey to the northwest. Can't unlock it yet. All right, we're still exploring over here. I'm going to get a second Explorer's Lodge. Because I think we need to have another one. And then we have no unassigned members now. Nice. Alright, we got to continue. So we need wood again. Classic stuffs. No one's in shock. We need to generate wood for a fire. I'm looking for water and toads, so we can start farming green medicine, and then we can start doing the ritual stuff. Fire time. Ooh, story of death and despair. A story about a horrible disaster is spreading amongst our people. The world will be shattered and drowned in blood. The truth is revealed. We will all fall to madness and death, they say. The more neurotic tribe members are already falling into fear and hysteria. If we let this go on, who knows what they'll do. I don't have medicine. Uh, ignore them. Don't believe it. Just silly tales. So give them the influence points. Area around the camp has been explored. Nice. So I think what we need to do is maintain the beacon fires. And now they're in Act 2. We use the Tinkery. Uh, research points. So I want this close by. 
So we'll have it right next to the food. All the fires are on. A little bit of fear. Two people are acting weird. Feels bad. That's because they're not getting sleep. You know what the heck, man? All right, get the spiritual progress. People that need to, they can do it. Otherwise, you just go do your thing. Dude, two people are just congregating amongst themselves. Why can't you just go to sleep? We got beds, man. We do. All right, so how is the journey? He's exploring still. Okay. So we're doing northwest. I'm not actually sure how that works. Fire is on. There's always a, okay. He's he's standing there. Wait, he's weird. But there's no problems with them. So he's just getting the weird effects. Aw, oh, come on, man. That's not good. All right, man, we're gonna go dance again tomorrow. We're at 25. All right, whoever needs this, man, we can do it. All right, not a lot of people need the spiritualness, but it's fine. All right, we got it. So as our bodies and minds bang for proper sleep, we are forced to consider desperate measures. We could use more wood in our nightly fire. The extra warmth would make our sleep much better. Neglecting that option would be more resourceful, but would be a tough thing to swallow. Okay. Uh... Oh, wow. Search for additional wood. Nah, man, we're fine. Okay. Continue the way forward. Let's go. All right, so we discovered one area. I went northwest, though. I guess we don't see progress yet. But guys, if you guys didn't know, The Tribe Must Survive this game we're playing is out now. Check it out on Steam. Y'all know what it is, exclamation point. The Tribe Must Survive for more information, man. Tribal Builder, Roguelike, Survival, Strategy. Y'all know what it is. Same old colony management that we love to play. All right, so we're getting research points finally. Nice. Okay, so that means... Oh, it's nighttime. Turn this on. There was building upgrades. Oh, okay. Make your bed. The tents are getting messy. In fact, they're starting to affect people's sleep. We should do something. Oh, I can't afford it. Really? Don't we have bigger problems? All right, man. We, we couldn't afford it. We have to take the L. That's tough. Tribal growth. Oh, okay. Cohesion is fine. We haven't got the second aspect yet. All right, upgrades. Lumber camp, inspiration. Hunter's hall, productivity. Stone pits. Tinkery. Research to research. That makes sense. Quick growth. And then that's it, huh? Okay. We gotta wait. We gotta get to 45 at the very least. That's uh, three more days. We gotta wait on this. And then we have that. Yeah, we gotta do, do the outer world stuff, it feels like. And I think we need to keep exploring and expanding. We have enough food. I want to say we do. 
and we really need to worry about wood. And then I might actually try to get more beacons up. Oh, these shouldn't be on right now. That way, everyone's going to have fire. Alright, let's go, let's go. Let's see what they got. This guy's still exploring. And one guy's out here still. Oh, we could do a second journey, right? Ooh. Yeah, why not? We have one worker that's not doing anything. Okay. There we go. We add the sky with zero fear. And we go north. Nice. One guy's in the dark. Hopefully they're fine. Oh, it's these guys. Oh, man. The beast and the shepherd. Two tribe members are preparing an offering to the gods, hoping to receive the protect. Oh, it's those guys. Uh... Plus, 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 minus, plus, minus. Plus, 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 minus, plus, minus. I think we do beasts. Because we, we have the tree, right? For the beasts. I feel like that makes immediate sense. Oh. Alright, chapter 2. Terror strikes. Find ourselves face to face with a person nailed to a tree. Oh no. Their body hangs limp on the nails. With their lips are dry and cracked. Ritual urns burned on the ground. Releasing smoke into the air. We recognize this as Shepherd's Punishment. Oof. Leave them be. Wait, aren't they? Oh, they're not dead. Leave them be, man. Don't mess with that. Uh, let's start the journey home. No, he has a lot of food. Okay, so it's fire that's important. We'll keep going one more time. Dude, it's wood, huh? That's actually what we're bottlenecked by. All right. This guy's in shot. We're going to help him out. need to get the 45. Probably going to do the wood upgrade, actually. There we go. Okay, okay. This guy's still in shock. So we're going to be exploring, going to see what that is. I still haven't done some of the advanced buildings yet. Haven't found mushrooms, haven't found toads. And it makes me think I don't have enough explorer platforms. We don't have enough people though. Wood and food's great. I guess once we have another person, that's going to be what we want them to do. Uh, let's build another explorer's platform. Logic is, is that once they're here, they could do the job, and then uh, we'll be able to have them uh, explore our hexagon. Hopefully, we'll find the medicine stuffs. Oh, we have a guy in shock still. Oh, and now he's acting weird. No, he's chilling. Nice. Oh, my. I haven't done spiritual need. Oof. Uh, this guy's nice. You see something in the corner of your eyes. Something's been following us for a while. You're unable to see what it is. Only vaguely shapes that disappear when we turn our gaze towards it. Fear. Chance he dies. Confronted. 50% chance it dies. 
Yo, man. 50-50. 50% of the time, we get it every time. We see the figure once more rushing towards it. Bush's tremble runs away, leaving behind a trail of blackish red ichor, where body parts strangely similar to ours float. Wow. Our man, we brave. We not brave, but we brave. I shouldn't have done that. But always lucky, right? Let's do some rituals. Get the spirituality up. Everyone needs it right now. Oh, this guy's in shock. Ah, uh, ooh. He's not gonna die. Time to go home. Still a little low. We'll do another one tomorrow. Alright, we have someone working here now to explore. I haven't found mushrooms or toads yet. I'm pretty sure it's going to be here. Ooh, lurking hunger. A twisted figure arrives at the camp. The old woman looks ancient, with hair like silver, deep wrinkles on her face, and moves as if she has no heavier than a feather. The grass barely bends under her feet. We meet again, or is this the first time? Y'all look the same to me. Nevertheless, you should feel lucky. I'm inclined to ask for your help. I require a hundred food in three days' time for a reward. Oh yeah, we could help. We got food. We got this. Oh, I didn't get the double click. We gotta, oh, we can't calm him down. Aw, oh, dude. I didn't hit the fire fast enough. And someone got robbed. They grabbed him, yo. Not like this. It's gonna be fine, man. It's gonna be fine. We'll dance again in the morning. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, that's it, isn't it? That's the toads. I think that's gonna be our green medicine. Six members in shock, yeah, that was bad. All right, that was fine, still negative. All right, we're gonna do it again soon. We need to explore that. Fire's on. Now right arrive. So far so good. We've only had one guy get grabbed. Alright. As we walk along the rocky cliffs of a large lake, we notice something shifting in the water. There are creatures swimming there, and even through the murky surface, we could see they are beyond beautiful. Long scaly arms reach from the lake, we feel compelled to give in. Somehow whenever whatever's down there seems much better than the surface world we can offer. Wow. No. No, she died. We gotta mourn, dude. Everyone on the journey died. Oh, that's sad. Oh, it's more shock and fear. Alright, keep the campfire on. Alright, the future keeps rising about the tribe members, leading to heated arguments. Some say that we should focus on protecting what we already have, while others claim that stagnation will lead us to ruin. Uh, let's see. Oh, I could actually use neither. So this is a plus minus. So it's the same minus and same pluses all around. It's just shuffled. 
Alright, we're gonna do uh, improvements. For the shock, let's do another ritual. Alright, give me it back. Hey man, the legend, baby. He survived. Alright, so did we. Ah, so these are our outside lands. Oh, there it is. The medicine. The toads. <laughs> They're toads, man. They are toads. Can't be mad. Okay, so that means I think we're just doing journeys now. We have one person that's not working, which is fine. I want to kind of restabilize for us. Looks like we're going to need more wood than food, though. This has never gone above food ever since we had more food. Guy's still in shock. Alright, he's gonna be fine soon. Spiritual need, negative. Is it actually? Dude, spiritual is fine. It's literally everything else. How come getting food is so hard? Like, we have it, though. And where's the old lady that wanted food? I haven't seen her anymore. And I didn't get a reward for that. Hey, man. Did we get lied to by the old lady? I think the old lady lied to us, man. All right. So let's turn off the fire. No one's in shock. Let's start a new journey. We are going to be setting wood. There we go gonna be you and that's it we're gonna go northwest again all right once we have someone not working we'll send another journey but we're maintaining our pop so if we lose pop I think it's okay the only other thing is maybe moving the lumber camps the woman returns as promised she sees the food gathered the slightest hint of a smile rises on her face. Your kind is not useless as you look. With this, the new With this, the newborn will grow big and strong. She draws a glowing mark on the ground. The mark turns into a yellow spore that disperses throughout the camp while she collects the food and leaves. Oh, she was a shepherd. Oh wow. Attending the yellow medicine ritual reduces food need based on medicine usage and people attending. Yellow medicine cleanse increased chance of neuroticism by one consuming medicine. Increased conscientiousness by one. Wait, don't we not want anyone to be neurotic? What the heck? Hey, what the heck is going on? Starkey Morph coming in with the raid. Thanks so much for the raid, Starkey Morph. I see you over there. Let's grab that one for now. Yo, man, let me give you a shout. Welcome in, Ardent Blazes. Why, Lilianos, Starkey Mord themselves, and Trashua Light. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. How was the streets? Play some Factorio. Hey, I see you over there. How was the factories? How was the lines? And what kind of playthrough were you guys doing? And of course, welcome in, and my name is Too Legit City, and we're playing the game called The Tribe Must Survive. Right now, we're in Act 2. We survived the initial disaster, and right now, we are trying to make sure these guys don't go crazy. They got the red eyes, man. Red eyes, black dragon from the Yu-Gi-Oh cards. And of course, if you guys don't know, this game is out on Steam. Check it out, man. The, the Tribe Must Survive is out now. Check it out on Steam. Exclamation point, the tribe must survive. Hashtag ad, of course. Uh, if you guys want some more information, but it's a Lovecraftian theme tribal builder with a lot of influence on a uh, roguelite survivability. Very uh, Lovecraftian with a lot of things. It's going well. Continuing the unmodded rail world. Nice. Setting up coal and fueling station and getting ready to work on plastic to make advanced circuits on the mega bays. Good stuff. I see you over there. Awesome, awesome. Wait, 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 wait. So what's Rail World? 
is is that like a scenario i'm not actually familiar with that and you say unmodded so that's that's the vanilla thing right can you talk to us about that starkey i'm not familiar with the rare world things i can't say that i am but yo man sounds pretty good i actually was playing some yesterday and i just made some more rails yesterday as well i was doing rail and i was doing plastic funny enough man i was doing the same thing but of course if you guys have any questions feel free to ask i would be happy to help we do a lot of uh oxygen not included on the channel if you guys are first time viewers and uh for the most part right now we're dabbling into the factorials as well as our secondary game but guys get cozy get uh, comfy we got mama in the bottom right if you guys don't know him he's my kitty cat Railwater is a preset basically all the ore patches spawn further apart but are richer and biter bases don't rebuild so it encourages using trains to move everything figured it'd be a good excuse to learn train stuff oh that's nice that sounds very convenient that sounds very convenient because I'm playing right now with biters on for the first time. And I am not going to lie, man. I am not a fan of the biters. <laughs> Initially, I was like, yeah, man, it's just biters. And then now that I'm playing it, I'm just like, dude, man, these biters are annoying. <laughs> I, I'm playing, I'm like, man, these biters are annoying, man. What are these guys doing? Well, they keep expanding. They keep attacking me, man. And I'm telling them, man, I need to protect myself. Yeah, the biters suck, but they keep you honest. Can't get greedy with your builds, dude. 100%, man. 100%. The biters are there to check you and make sure you play it the proper way. I played my first playthrough without biters, and playing with it now, man, dude, I notice it's a big difference. Because now it's like I have to play with pollution on, I have to worry about it. I can't just put like 50 boilers, you know, with coal line. Feels bad. First time here, I see a silent one. Welcome in, man. Exclamation point, the tribe must survive. Uh, info about the game. You can also uh, click on the panel down on my about page for more information. But this is a uh, tribal builder. It's basically a colony management game, right? except that it's a tribe so there's not going to be too much infinite uh too much influence on like tech stuff and it's going to be more on uh you know survival and this is a lovecraftian themed game so basically the premise is we're a tribe and uh we need to survive and one of the things that is taking us out is the shadows in the shadows there are monsters and things out there basically the lovecraftian old gods and they're getting, they're grabbing the people and taking them out. So we just want to survive by uh, keeping a fire up. If the light goes out and it's pitch black, that's when the uh, old gods strike. So a lot of influence by the Lovecraftian theme. Otherwise, it's a roguelike colony survival game. Tribal elements, of course. Two tribe members have gone to Higan Ardment. One insists that everyone should be free, do as they want, regardless of what the tribe thinks. Other things we need to control ourselves and our fellow tribe members. Otherwise, everyone will suffer. We need to control to survive. I'm sorry, man. And the reason for that is because, dude, you don't listen, man. It's going to be over. Oh, oh, oh. All right. Something in the corner. 20% death. 80% death. All right, we're going to go 50-50. Oh, rip. He died, dude, at the very beginning. Oh, man. Notices the creature and rushes it, ready to attack, but what he sees paralyzes him completely. The hesitation is costly. All it takes is one strike. Rip. Oh, dude, there's going to be shock. All right, man, we got to turn this on. Yeah, that's my cat. That's my cat, Mamba. He's napping right now, curled up to a little ball. He is the mascot on my emotes as well, if you could see the emotes for my channel. Uh, there we go. All the fires are on now. All right, got to rest and recover after the stream. Thanks for hosting the uh, lab, Raz, of course. But yo, take care of the post-stream duties. Take care of yourself, man. Especially after a long stream. But yo, man, thank you so much for the raid. Bring your community over to share with ours. Uh, see you over there, Starkey Morn. Appreciate it, man. 
But the Void Kitty, yes. Even his paw pads and his nose is all black. He's an all black kitty cat, man. Y'all know what it is. You got the black on black rims. 20 inch chrome. Stack it till it hits the ceiling. Y'all know what it is, man. Oh, it's raining. Wait, hold up. It's never rained before. Oh, does that put out the fire? It doesn't affect the fire. At least I don't think. Hmm, okay. Oh, we got mushrooms. Oh, yellow medicine farm. Let's go. Oh, and this is the Toad Farm. They're next to each other. Oh, <gasps> that's so good. Oh, we're going to need that. Oh, we're going to need a beacon here. Simple rain shouldn't affect the serious fire. These in, man. I don't know, man. This is this is a normal campfire, man. You know what I'm saying? Just normal campfire. All right, let's turn these off. Because we don't have workers anyways. Oh, we lost someone? What happened? Wait, why do we lose someone? Wait, 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 wait. Why did my colony go down? We lost someone, but we went down to 24. Now we're at 22. Oh, uh, did someone defect or something? Is this guy? With the red eyes? Oh, I'm worried about this guy. Guys, the tribe, to survive, uh, the tribe must survive is out now. Check it out on Steam. Y'all know what it is? Oh, I gotta keep the fire on. And let's start a ritual. I am not sure, Salomon, if we have a log like that. The game is in early access right now. Alright. Oh no. Dark clouds gather above us, bringing them a rain more intense than ever before. Our flames struggle to keep lit, and the ever-growing flood threatens our survival. We must not let it claim our homes. Wait a second. We get flood? Oh, dude. Oh my god, so the first disaster that we ran into was the eclipse. And once the eclipse is there, we ran out of wood, we lost. Now we have a f oh dude what the heck? Where did this flood come from, dude? What the heck is this? Yo man, it's time for the flood walls. Oh, you could shift click this. Nice. There we go. Please. Please just just bop the water. I don't know if that protects us. Dude, we're just dancing right now. Dude, we don't have wood. Uh, call him out of the water, dude. That's the danger, man. All right. Twisted reflection. Some of our tribe members keep staring at the pools of flood water, claiming to see something in them. There are not just puddles, there are gateways, pieces of the great depths. Others say longing. Chance of water death, oh man. Comfort from the deep. Oh man, so we could have them be okay. Or, oh dude, I'm, I'm not actually sure how this works. 
Alright, man, we're gonna take, we're gonna let them admire the water. Does this protect me? I'm not actually sure. Because the water levels are gonna increase in a day. Alright, it doesn't look like we need the fire. Yo, man, we need wood. I don't have a fire anymore, man. Alright, man, turn the fires on. Just dance in the rain, boys. It's gonna be okay. Geek, I see you over there. Welcome in, welcome in. Do we have any progress points? Seven points for the shepherd. I hope this is protecting us. Because if it floods, I don't know what we do. It's daytime. Water level is going to rise. Low danger. Disappearance is low. Wood is pretty bad right now. We need to turn off the fire ASAP. The moment it hits 5 o'clock in the morning. We gotta scarcely use the wood because we can't build any more flood walls anymore. All right, man, it's gonna rise. The flood rises. Keeps rising, making it harder and harder for us to contain it. It is as if some dark force was trying to drown these lands. Or perhaps we are just imagining things. Yo, oh, wait, what? Dude, we got the walls? Another layer, dude. All the animals. <laughs> They're getting covered by the water, man. Oh, dude. Looks like it was inspired by Frost. Oh, because of the light scheme? I guess it's the same idea, but different kind of effects. I see what you're saying. Oh, the building fully flooded over here. It doesn't turn on anymore. Oh, man. The flood's gonna rise again. I don't know if I have enough wood to survive. I don't think we... Yeah, I don't think I have enough wood to survive. Oh, dude. Dude. No. No, someone just got grabbed. We just lost somebody. Oh, dang. All right, it's daytime, boys. We're out of wood. Same concept, different style, yeah. The center fire keeps your village alive. Yeah, it's, it's that's what I'm saying. It's like it's very similar. All right, I needed one more here. All right, this flood at the bottom, I can't, I can't do anything about that. I just need wood right now. Oh, man. They're in shock. All right, I have to turn on the fire then. It's going to start burning the wood, and that's not good for me. I kind of feel like this might be it, man. Because it's rising still. Like, what in the heck, dude? Why is it still going to go up? Wait, 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 wait. Is the light still here? 
Why does it feel like I still have light? I don't, but it looks like we do. Yeah, we have the light inside here. This guy, dude. What are you doing? Dude, they're having a secret meeting. How are they so brave? And we gotta keep this on. Because some people are in shock. The only good news is that our crop field isn't flooded. But we have like no wood. Oh, dude. Another water rise. Oh. Alright, shows no end. More and more of the land is claimed by the flood, and it has brought something terrible with it. A deadly presence lurking beneath the surface. Oh, dude. Everything's wet, dude. Yo, man. My socks are wet. And this is not a good feeling. Oh, it's going to lower in a day. Okay. Hopefully, we just got to survive this. What we really need is just uh, the dance. We need a dance, boys. We need a dance. We're gonna be fine. It's time to dance. We could dance all day. Everyone's gonna be happy. What's this guy doing, man? Dude, this guy's well. All right, they did that. They could do their things. They're still in shock. All right, we're gonna do the water dance. Spawn of Muck. One of our hunters caught a strange fish brought by the flood. The fish sprout bottom, the fish sprout from the bottoms of muddy puddles, dragging themselves into the ground with hand-like fins. When caught, they scream like a person. Though the fish tastes like dirt, they seem edible enough. They, they. They scream when caught. Man, we have food, dude. We don't need it. We don't need it, man. Let's do the water dance. People are scared of the water, man. We're gonna dance. Oh, did someone just drown? Oh, someone just drowned. Oh, snap. Dude, man. Stay out of the water, dude. What are we doing over here? If you meet an old one, you might see one in the mirror. I think I saw that fish on TV. I see you guys over there. Alright, the fires are on. I can't really do much about that because our wood's low. We just kind of have to take the owl here, man. 13 hours. Oh, someone just got grabbed. Oh, man. Someone just got grabbed. We're about to run out of fire, man. This is not good. This is not going to be a good time. All right. We still have a lot of people in shock. So when you're in shock, you can't do anything. So your normal job you're assigned to is effectively not being worked anymore. Which means we don't generate the resources, and that's bad. And now that no one's chopping wood, I don't have fire. <gasps> Clouds are parting. The rain has finally ceased, and the waters are receding. But we cannot celebrate yet. Not before this flood is fully over. Alright, it's gonna lower again in six hours. Nice. We have no wood. Alright, 6%. You can stand in the water now. It's daytime, but they're still fearing. Okay. All right. Hopefully, this helps out enough that we get some more wood choppers. And we're out of wood. Oh, this is really bad. We might lose like five to six people right now. Hey, geek. What the heck, dude? Thanks so much for the five gifted. I see you over there. Blaze542, Harold11, Erebus, C. Benberg, and Mainson015. 
Welcome to the city. Hope you guys enjoy your stay. Enjoy the Emote 20 Dice ad free viewing courtesy of Geek. Y'all know who to thank. Thank you so much, Geek, for hitting the buttons. Just gifted five man to the channel. Shout outs to you, dude. Appreciate it, Geek. Thank you for supporting me and the Mambas. The last of the waters have disappeared. The land belongs to us once more. We have an opportunity to build and grow and become stronger than before. Nice. Act three, we survived two downsides, somehow. We didn't worry about the groups that formed within the tribe. We even welcomed the impact they had, but us ignoring them was like a drowning man ignoring the rising waters. The darkest shadows might not be the ones surrounding us, but the ones that grow within. All right, sense of purpose, wander loss, oof. Uh, short tempers, distrust, and precious uh, prosperous times. Alright man, this is not good, it's midnight. And we have 20 people. Oh, we lost? Yep. Oh, they're getting grabbed by the shadows. So that's what happens. When there's no fire, because we have no wood, the old gods will take us as a sacrifice. I'm a little worried, man. Oh, another one bites the dust. Down to 16? Mm-mm. We gotta wait till it's 5 in the morning. Oh, another one. 15. And it's daytime. Okay, so this, this is actually really bad. You're a tinkerer. Can I force them? Oh, there's no shaman. Alright, so we might lose... Uh, so the problem now is you don't recover from shock, right? Unless your fear dips below a certain level. And then your fear doesn't go down unless there's a fire. So realistically, I need to take someone, probably the Tinkerer. And this guy's name is uh, Yo Eki. And we're going to apply him to a lumber camp. That's going to be... Yoaki. Alright, we need you to chop wood, dude. Oh, wait! You decided to not tinker instead. You went and snapped. Oh, dude. Alright, so it's going to be you. Uh, full Fram. Oh, and you went to shock? Come on. If everyone's in shock, we lose. Who is not in shock? Two people are actually getting tampered with, which is why they're wandering. And that means the last guy's asleep. All right, Greg Coco. Where are you? He's at 67 fear. He's the lowest fear. Oh my god. This might be it, boys. This might actually be it. Shock? Shock. We have one person not in shock. Alright, you're awake and they're gonna want food. Alright, you're no longer gonna do this. And your name is Greg Coco. No, wait, what? No, dude. What is this? Why did you immediately get into shock? Dude, you immediately got 50 fear. Wait, what? Dude, we're, we're done? We lost? So when you're in full shock like this, we have 15 people. 15 people are in shock. We lose. You can't break the shock because the, the fear is positive. Oh, man. And that's just like that, man. That's it. The old gods are going to grab us one by one. It's nighttime. 
13. Two people snapped out, but they're they're on the old god side. One of them just got grabbed. Aw, snap. Oh man, yep, that's it, man. No, the gods. They're so unforgiving. The old gods are so unforgiving. And it's daytime. Back down to six. We started with three people. Uh, 100%, 100%, 100%. The only other thing that might have helped us is potentially finding the medicine faster. So that means exploration might have been something we needed to invest in. I had too many hunters. And I think the problem was, was that I relied on the hunters instead of making these crop farms. And I think these were better. Yeah, I think this is better. Just because you don't have to walk out, right? So we would reduce the amount of hunters' halls. I mean, we would know for next time now. Oh, now they're back and shock. Five people, five people. Oh, boys, we tried. I think we lost, though. Man, this really is unforgiving, man. My first my first colony we played today of this, the, it died at the eclipse in a similar fashion. We didn't have enough wood to survive the eclipse, but then we made it to the end. But at the end of the eclipse, it was midnight. So I still had five hours a night still, and then we lost in that five hours. <laughs> However, we learned that we needed a lot of wood, and we got it, and we survived the flood, got to Act 3, and immediately lost, just like in the Eclipse part. Wow. Wow, yeah, so it's like, panic. Alright man, they're running. Oh, dude. Fear. Two people. Oh man, two people. They're done, dude. There's no saving them. Oh, they were a reliable worker. Feels bad. Oh, man. Man. Big rip, big rip. Big rip for these guys, man. Broken someone? They're all broken. We can't, we can't save them. That's the thing. We can't save these guys. We can't save these guys. What's the cheapest item? Five for the lumber. Oh, I can't build the outpost fire. Okay. Broken wood build? Oh, that's an idea, yeah. Does that work? Oh, you do. That doesn't give me much though. Uh, that's an idea, that's an idea. I don't have a deconstruct button though. Ah oh, man, having to manually do this is kind of tough. Oh, dude. Now the fear goes down. It's still slow, though. I don't think we have enough wood to survive the night, either. Oh, I did not think about demoing. All the flood walls we, we uh, put down. I think I messed up how you're supposed to place down the flood barriers. I think I messed how this is supposed to work. Oh man, is there enough wood for this to actually be okay? 
that's actually what I'm not sure of now. You pick that with a good idea. I see you over there. Alright, so it's during the day. Oh, I'm by myself. Alright, the fear is going down. They're by themselves. Yo, man. This is going to be a while. But we might be able to salvage this. Copper Fever. The last guy in my camp. Wait, he was exploring? Dude, he's in shock, dude. Uh We need more ore for no reason. We did our best, but our tribe did not survive. Huge rip boys. Oh man. We didn't I think he he might have no, oh, he left. Yeah. Huge rip. 10k points, though. It's not bad. Total tribe members, 35. Members survived the one. 43 days. No upgrades. Almost 6k resources. Man. That was really unforgiving, man. But guys, that was the tribe must survive. Hope you guys enjoy that. And guys, if you guys didn't know, the Try Must Survive is out now. You can see the emphasis on the roguelike elements in that game, man. Very unforgiving. And when we reset it for the first time, we had kind of like a uh, new game plus, if that makes sense. Added some additional features for the new playthrough. But yeah, you could see the Lovecraftian elements, man. Everything about it. The creepiness, the vibe. But I think that's what we're aiming for. Hope you guys enjoyed that. It's a wish list now on Steam. Don't forget to check it out. Uh, the game again is The Tribe Must Survive. The Tribe Must Survive is out now. Y'all know what it is? Hashtag ad. And guys, that is going to be it for me today.